moving on uh, from this fundamental technical capability to perception. So perception is um, it, it's a critical step in the whole process from having a sensed object on the road uh, to the end of, uh, of the process of decision making. And uh, perception brings with it uh, many aspects from, from, the sen from the sensing stage. And for lost cargo use case, as we call it, um, it's very unique because unlike any other cases, um, other well-defined categories such as cars or pedestrian or, or different uh, well-known shape and size uh, objects, a lost cargo is by definition an unknown object. It could be anything that uh, fell off a truck, um, uh, stayed on the, on the road after a, uh, an accident, uh, or any random object on the road that could not be um, uh, classified uh, by a pre-known or a reference known um, data within the system. And therefore, uh, the challenge here is even farther than just having the capability to detect. Uh, so when we talk about lost cargo, uh, detection, detecting uh, usually a very small and random object um, will be crucial for the safety, for the end safety of, of the drive. And uh, that brings the challenge task to the, to the AV or to the ADAS uh, system. Uh, a, few, a few tasks um, by, by order that we see in this uh, perception process would be first to detect, detect that an object is there on the road blocking uh, the way uh, with a sufficient confidence uh, of detection. And with that, uh, to measure the object range uh, how far is it from the vehicle at the at the very moment of detecting that it is there? After understanding the, that there is something on the road and how far it is, there is a fusion task to collect information from all the sensors within the the, the, the sensing task uh, at the moment and try to uh, solve uh, conflict between different data that is coming from different sensors, align different images um, and the region of area of interest uh, between the different modalities uh, so that we can feed, uh, we can estimate uh, the object size and, and uh, later on feed the decision-making algorithms uh, with a reliable outcome of object size, uh, range of the object from the vehicle and the related confidence level so that the decision-making algorithms can uh, meet the uh, the true positive rush rate that is usually uh, very, very highly uh, strict uh, required um, and obviously to avoid any false alarm. We've tried to uh, put in a diagram, a very simplified diagram, this whole process. So st starting from having a lost cargo on the road uh, up to the, to the moment that there is a decision making of emergency brake or maneuver, we are focusing on a very specific uh, of, of this very specific use case of lost cargo, um, and we are uh, defining the capabilities, not defining, but analyzing the capabilities of different modalities uh, to be able to support this process and bring to a reliable uh, decision. So when we talk about the the beginning of the process, there are two aspects in detection, which is to be able to see at long distance. And then as Uriel mentioned, when it comes to resolution, it's not only enough to see that there is something there, you need to have enough pixels for reliable detection. So this is for the detection aspect uh, of it. And then eventually to be able to uh, estimate the size, since there is no reference um, for the very random object, there must be a reliable range estimation. And each one of the of the modalities that are listed here and, and compared during this session, uh, each one of them has its own capabilities for detection and range estimation. And we will touch it in a minute, um, but it's important to understand that this is a very critical step in the whole sensing and perception process, because eventually uh, a decision whether the object is possible or not, meaning the vehicle could drive over it and ignore it, or not, meaning to have an emergency action, a break or a maneuver. Um, for that, there must be a reliable size estimation of the object. And that would only be possible with, with the calculation that is based on the detection and the range estimation. So when we see the, 
the different modalities and also the, the CDAR. So we see that uh, for detection, for example, um, the camera could detect very well at, at daytime, at very nice weather, uh, but it's very limited when it comes to nighttime and also severe conditions. Um, when it comes to range estimation, camera is highly limited, uh, mainly when it comes to a random uh, object. For imaging radar, um, detection is highly limited due to uh, low resolution. And range estimation is, is, is solid, uh, is, is pretty uh, accurate. Uh, again, in the LiDAR, also we have a, a reliable range estimation in, in variety of conditions. However, uh, to allow detection in long distance, this is uh, um, again limited due to uh, res resolution and other uh, interferes that might uh, uh, not bring a good enough um, image. Uh, CDAR, on the other hand, uh, the, the platform that we are developing here in TriI, uh, it's, it's a given, the output of the CDAR is a given uh, synchronized uh, 2D and 3D map, meaning there is not only a, a high quality image, uh, just like a camera, but also a synced uh, 3D map with a range uh, estimation for each pixel that is in the image, there is also uh, a range uh, level. That brings a very easy uh, option to calculate and to estimate the size of the detected object without any fusion needed. And therefore, when we look about, when we look on the, on the process in, in high level, and we try to understand how can the sensor set of a vehicle get to a reliable decision in such a corner cases, uh, such a challenging cases of having a lost cargo in a very high distance of 150 meters at least. Um, this is uh, highly um, dependent on a, on a limited fusion of modalities which bring a lot of challenges within this fusion. Uh, for example, there must be a perfect alignment between the different modalities which are bringing a different type of data. For example, a point cloud, point cloud of, of uh, LiDAR is different than an image in a camera and aligning them into a, a reliable fusion is a limited task. And obviously when it comes to a decision that should be taken in, a, in an immediate manner. Uh, so to summarize that, the whole perception process is after all um, relied on the possibility to bring a reliable size estimation. And uh, we consider the CEDAR to have all in one on this aspect. Uh, meaning not only to have high operational level in variety of conditions, but also to bring the exact data that is needed, range and detection in high resolution.